Sombra needs fixing, guys. I'm Salo Sir, and this is Unit Lost, and we're going to talk about how to fix Sombra because in her current state, she is a fantastic hero to play. Her kit is awesome. Teleporting around, going in viz, hacking people. It's its great, right? It's really, really fun to play. If you guys have had the chance to play her on PTR or on PC, um, you'll, you'll probably like her, right? She's really great fun to play. She's like a, a really well-designed hero. But here's the thing, and this is where I've got a major issue. I think there are two problems with Sombra. She doesn't do enough damage, and she's got too much area control or area denial, and that is in the form of hacking health packs. So, what I think... Is, basically, this is the problem with Sombra, right? If you look at the offensive heroes, if you look at Tracer, if you look at McCree, if you look at even Soldier right now on the PTR, he's pretty buff, and you look at Genji, these heroes can just... And, and Reaper, these heroes can just kill the enemy, right? They go in, they kill. They, they wipe enemies out. And what is the, the, the most effective thing an offensive hero can do? Well, that's stop the enemy from playing. That is eliminating a player. If you remove a player and send them back to the spawn, that is crazy powerful. That's what all the offensive heroes need to do. Now, Sombra is in the offensive category, but Jeff Kaplan, who is the game's director, has actually said she's really not an offensive hero. She's like an offensive support. But this is the problem I've got, right? Why would you use a Sombra when you could use a Tracer and a McCree? Or a Genji and a McCree? Or something like that, you know, as your core damage dealing um, sort of team. Because taking Sombra as a support, you know, or in, in place of a support or an off tank, I don't think that's going to work. Because Sombra is not, she can't fulfill that role. And that's where she's going to start lacking. So this is the problem I've got, right? She just isn't going to do enough damage. So I, I'm going to, I, I sort of see in the future there's going to be a load of people going, change off Sombra, right? Don't play Sombra, play Tracer, play Genji, please don't play Sombra, blah, 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 if she stays how she is, because these are the two issues that I've got. Like I said, she doesn't do enough damage, and she has too much area control. I think these need to be reversed. So, right now, if she hacks a health pack, it lasts for one minute. The enemy Sombra cannot reverse hack it, it just remains hacked to your Sombra. Uh, and you can control quite a few health packs. So you can end up in a situation where you can, like, realistically control four health packs if you're lucky. And if you control the critical health packs, then that, that's, like, really powerful. The problem is she doesn't do enough damage. So if you want to then use Sombra to go and chip into the fight and start taking people out, you, you literally cannot. You can kill people if they're really, really weak because you can use Sombra's ability to see you through the wall if you're critically injured, which is fantastic. And, and it's great that Sombra has that because she can run around and sort of finish people off. But the thing is, finishing people off is generally what, ha what happens after the fight is finished. And at that point, your team have already won the fight. And what would Sombra have actually done to contribute to that fight? You see, what will happen is, generally the meta gets developed by the pros. And I think it's going to be very hard to persuade pro teams to say, drop your Tracer and play a Sombra. Because they just wouldn't do that. Because Tracer does a ton of damage, like a shed load of damage compared to... Uh, Sombra, who literally does no damage. I mean, Sombra has a lot of problems when she's fighting people 1v1. You can totally win a 1v1, don't get me wrong. If you've hacked a health pack and you're on top of the health pack and somebody tries to 1v1 you, you're probably going to win, right? Or if maybe you hack them before they manage to attack you, which is very rare, you'd have to get the jump on them to do this, and then you start attacking them, then yeah, maybe you could take them out. But Sombra's machine pistol has an insane spread on it. It's got a lot of bullets, it's got 60 bullets in it, but it's got an insane spread. What this means is when you're trying to take on other offensive heroes, it's very hard to hit them. So if you try to take on McCree, all McCree has to do, obviously, is flashbang you and then he'll probably kill you. Like, a McCree would be very dangerous for a Sombra to try and take on, unless you've hacked him, in which case then, you know, maybe go for it. But even just trying to straight up shoot McCree or a Tracer or, like, Diva out of a mech or, you know, any other hero, even a Reaper, it's going to be very hard because your spread's too much and you're not doing enough damage and they are going to be damaging you back and they're probably going to take you out. And this is the thing, again, coming back to the fact that she is an offensive hero. She doesn't do enough damage. She's got a load of support abilities, which kind of, you know, really, she, maybe she should have been a defensive hero because kind of that's what she is. And I guess you could say, do the, the hero classifications even matter anyway? You know, I mean, look at May. You could say May's a tank, yet she's not in the tank class, she's in the defensive hero class. So it's it's very it's very weird when you look at it like that. So I think what they need to do is reduce the duration of the hack. The hack is too long, right? A one minute hack on a health pack is too long. It's only six seconds, I believe, if you do it to a player, which that's fine because obviously you don't want to be able to hack a player for one minute. That would just be completely ridiculous. But hacking a health pack for one minute, she's got too much area control. I think 30 seconds will probably be okay. 45 seconds, I don't know, I think that might be a bit too much. So if we take that down to 30 seconds, and then we increase the damage of her machine pistol. 
Her other abilities, like Invis, I think that's fine. Her Translocator, I think that's fine. The ability to see critically injured people through the wall, and I know maybe that needs to be reduced a little bit, but I know why that's at 50%. Because the way this works is 50% of your natural health, if you are below that, Sombra can see you anywhere on the map. She's basically got a Widowmaker wall hack. Now, this means she can chase after you and kill you with her woeful damage, right? That's why she can see you when you've got that little kind of health. So I think they maybe need to reduce that to sort of, I don't know, 20% of your health left, but increase Sombra's damage overall just to make her more effective. Now... I've been going over these thoughts in my head uh, for a couple of hours now and I've been writing notes down and trying to think about ways in which this would actually change the game and I know, I, I fully know why Sombra doesn't do a lot of damage because they're trying to introduce heroes into the game that are not just straight up Tracers and Genjis and McCrees and you know that just go in and just damage the enemy because if you look at the archetype of the heroes that we've got McCree is your you know your, your D-Eagle guy from um, Counter-Strike I know he's using a revolver but for argument's sake he's basically got a D-Eagle right Soldier has got like your M16 or whatever it would be and then like Reaper's got the shotguns you know so you've got the very basic sort of heroes there and Genji's sort of like the ninja and then you've got like Tracer the fast moving flanker and, and all that stuff so they kind of covered the very basic roles to begin with and that's in every kind of hero classification now they're having to get really creative with what they're doing and things like Sombra uh, they will change the game but I just find it I think she's going to be a little bit too almost complex as she's played right now or at how she is right now because she doesn't do enough damage but she's, she's got a lot of area to control so to bring her into the game and have her affect it in a way in which you maybe might not want to take a Tracer or you might not want to take another DPS character and instead you're taking Sombra is going to take a lot of coordination. Now, there's one thing I haven't dropped on here which I'm going to talk about now and that's her EMP. This is a massively powerful ultimate. You may have seen me speak on Twitter about the fact that Sombra is the meta destroyer and she will be if teams use her. If people can get over the fact she doesn't do a lot of damage and that's if blizzard doesn't increase the damage that she does and maybe reduce the hack but if they leave her as she is right now her emp is basically the best thing she's bringing to the fight right this ability removes barriers of all types that means it gets rid of reinhardt's barrier it gets rid of winston's barrier it gets rid of zarya's barriers it gets rid of lucio's sound barrier that on its, in its own is really powerful. It also hacks everybody caught in it, so they can't use their abilities. It also interrupts certain ultimates, like um, basically the rule of thumb is if it is an ultimate that can be stopped by Flashbang, then EMP will stop it. So Reaper's ultimate will get stopped by it. Um, Roadhog's ultimate will get stopped by it. And then Soldiers wouldn't get stopped by, by it, for example, and things like that. So she is got a massively powerful ultimate. So what I can see happening is you would take the Sombra, you would hack some health packs, you'd sort of just do sombra things and try and build up your ultimate. But you're not actually killing the enemy. At this point, if the enemy roll over your team or start doing high damage to you because they don't have a sombra, that's when the sombra becomes quite ineffective. Now, if sombra does build her ultimate up, she has the best engage because she can just go in there, remove all the barriers, stop all ability use, and then just, yeah, your team can rush in and kill them. If you look at really high level games, now, this is where I think we're going to get a lot of disparity between the way Sombra's played and uh, sort of how she's perceived. Because a pro team can kill the enemy stupidly fast, right? A high masters team can kill the enemy faster. A masters team can kill the enemy team fast. A diamond team can kill them very quickly. Uh, you know, and as you go down the sort of ranking, it takes a longer time to kill the enemy team. Basically, what happens is as you go up the ranks, the DPS gets much quicker at killing the enemy. So things what you can do uh, like Sombra's ultimate which will hack you for six seconds that's a lot of time to kill the enemy because if you can't use your ultimate or use any of your abilities uh, that's a major disadvantage all you can do is fire your primary weapon well you need to get lucky or you, you die and a pro team will kill you in six seconds a high masters grandmasters team probably will as well a masters team might be close to it uh, a high diamond team again might be close to it but then as you start going down it's going to be much harder to use. So if we're like looking at platinum tiers, gold tiers, silver tiers, Sombra is going to be useless. But then is that a problem? Because if Sombra goes in and drops her ultimate and hacks everybody, it's going to take longer than six seconds to kill everybody. So their abilities are going to come back up. And it's almost like Sombra's done nothing. Now that's if we're using Sombra as an engage. Because you could use Sombra as a defensive ultimate. If you get caught in a graviton and you drop the EMP, that could be really powerful because it's going to stop that incoming tracer dropping a pulse bomb and all of that stuff. Now, 
just to go back on my comment about the fact that Sombra's good. I mean, let's be honest here, right? There are a lot of different heroes that are very powerful at different tiers of the game. At the very start of the game, um, I recently got a Smurf account and I started playing to level it up to 25. Um, so I could play ranked on it. And the very first game I had, it had Bastion and Torbjorn and Symmetra. And the Bastion was just sitting in the open, like firing at people. And it was killing people on my team and I couldn't believe it. So you've got Bastion who's very strong and Torbjorn as well at the lower levels. And then you sort of start moving up and then you get Genji who's particularly powerful around about sort of gold and platinum tiers. Like Genji can just kill an entire team because maybe the DPS, maybe the McCree or whatever isn't good enough to sort of deal with that Genji reliably so he can rip through the team. And then as you start getting to the higher tiers, people like McCree become extremely good because those guys have got like godlike aim and it can just blow you away and it's totally ridiculous and like Reinhardt becomes an almost mandatory pick just to stay alive because of that kind of damage coming in. Sombra's going to suffer from the same thing and I think she's going to be this I want to see her used in the game but I think she's going to be this niche hero the way she is right now where she's going to fulfill maybe crazy strategies or sort of the shock value of oh my god it's a Sombra but I can't see a Tracer player or a Genji player wanting to play Sombra over those guys. Now, let me just talk about the EMP ultimate again for a second. I spoke about the fact that the EMP is very strong, but is it better than Dragon Blade? Is it better than Pulse Bomb? See, that's the thing. Is it really better than those ultimates or even Deadeye or Reapers? Uh, I, I keep wanting to call it the Beyblade. What is it? Death Blossom. Is it better than those? Because they, they kill people and they kill, they, they kill people really, really quick. Sombra just enables you to kill them. So I think it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy, but I do think there are two things that need to be fixed, right? She needs more damage and she needs less area control. Her hack is an okay ability to use on other people. I think it's kind of okay. The range is okay on it. The fact that it lasts for six seconds is okay. But being able to control a health pack for one minute, I think it's a little bit overkill if that's at the cost of her doing literally no damage. If she does more damage and reduce her hack on health packs. I think we could be looking at a very good hero that we're going to see really change the game in a lot of ways. Like I said, my issue is, I just think right now, this is, why would you play her over a Tracer? Ugh, I don't know, but I really like Sombra. Right, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. This has been a quite detailed video, and I just wanted to get all of that out there because I firmly believe Sombra does need to be fixed. Um, in the state she's in right now, she probably won't see much use, but if they do up her damage and then maybe nerf her in other areas... I think we could be looking at a fantastic hero that can infiltrate the back lines, do a bit of damage, and then get out of the play, get out of there, and just sort of supplement what the team's doing with a fantastic ultimate that could literally change the way the game is played. All right, guys, I've been Salosa. This is Unit Lost. As I said, comment below. Let me know what you think about this. If you've got any crazy ideas how to fix Sombra, do you think she's bad? Do you think she's good? Let me know in the comments below. I've been Salosa, guys. This is Unit Lost. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming, and I'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.